investigation looks at the safety of flexible gas lines known as CSST. They're used in millions of newer homes and approved for use in national building codes. Yeah, but the product has also been blamed for fires where some fire investigators say energy from lightning punched holes in those tubes. Investigative reporter Scott Freeman has been following this for months. He's here with what you need to know. Yeah, Meredith and Brian, there's a lot of conflicting information out there and it puts homeowners in a tough spot. Depending on who you believe, CSST is either the safest way to pipe gas in your house or it's a dangerous product that can cause a gas-fueled fire when lightning strikes. Tonight, what to do if you have it in your home? A charred attic and a hole in the ceiling. Right there, there was a black spot growing right between the wall and the ceiling. When the smoke cleared, Nancy Bixby says Flower Mound firefighters showed her tiny holes in a piece of CSST, corrugated stainless steel tubing used to run gas to the furnace and fireplace. I never thought about piping, never heard of it before until uh, the fire department brought the piece of pipe down. They cut it loose and he brought it down and he said, this is what caused your fire. Nancy says they suspected a lightning storm that knocked out her cable TV and phone lines, also sent lightning energy jumping onto the CSST puncturing holes in the thin walls of the tubes, creating tiny jets of flame. Like a lot of homes with CSST, Nancy's house was built before codes required contractors to connect or bond the CSST to the electrical grounding system in the house. CSST manufacturers say bonding and grounding minimizes the risk of damage from lightning, and the National Fire Protection Association says it provides a reasonable level of safety. Nancy had the CSST replaced, and this time she called an electrician to bond and ground. It cost less than $200. But when a storm fires up, she still wonders. How safe am I with it grounded? Am I really safe? It has crossed my mind. NBC5 investigates wondered how the Texas State Fire Marshal would answer that question. Chris Keneally says he encourages Texans to bond and ground CSST, but that does not mean he's endorsing the product. This is a, an issue that's evolving, and I, I don't know how else to say it. And so uh, we, we don't take a position on CSST or the four against it, as far as the fire marshal office. If this product were in your attic, would you sleep well at night? I would definitely have it bonded and grounded, that's for sure. Keneally says he's keeping a close eye on CSST research, and he's watching what's happening in Lubbock, where the city banned CSST after a deadly fire and explosion. <laughs> Brennan Teal died while staying at a friend's house. The Lubbock Fire Marshal says lightning energy jumped or arced onto the CSST, which was bonded and grounded, puncturing the tubes. Tightflex, the company that made the CSST in the home, denies their product triggered the fire. They claim the lightning damaged electrical wires, igniting foam insulation instead. If we can help people understand what they need to know, that is our goal. In their first interview, Brent and Teal's parents told NBC5 Investigates they would like CSST taken off the market. But they also tell people to call 911 if they suspect a lightning strike and have firefighters check the attic to make sure the CSST was not damaged. Investigators believe their son was killed not knowing the attic was on fire. His incident may, have, may lead to save other lives and property, and I think that's a good way for us to remember him. If there is electrical current... Mark Goodson is one of the experts hired by the Teal family's attorneys. He also serves as an advisor to the state fire marshal's office. Does bonding and grounding make it safe? No, it's still an unsafe product. Goodson says he's investigated hundreds of CSST fires, mostly for homeowners and insurance companies suing manufacturers. The latest research supported by the industry says while bonding and grounding reduces the threat from a nearby strike, a direct lightning strike may carry enough charge to cause damage. Lastly, it doesn't change the unsafe characteristic of the product which is the thin wall. We're aware of the problem. Bob Torbin is an executive with a major CSST maker that's not involved in the Lubbock case. He recently told fire officials in Dallas, CSST is as safe as anything in your home, and nothing is designed to withstand a direct strike. Again, when Big Blue comes striking in your home, everything in your house is susceptible to fire. Torbin declined an on-camera interview. Everybody that will listen to me. Since her fire, Nancy Bixby tells friends and neighbors to at least call an electrician to check the CSST. I think the first step is letting everybody know that's got it. Be aware that you've got it 
and get it grounded and then think about other options, you know, if it makes you uncomfortable. We discovered Nancy's home may still not be bonded and grounded correctly. We let her know and she's having it checked again. If you have CPSST, fire officials tell us at a minimum, call a licensed electrician and check it. For more protection, you can install a lightning protection system in your house, but that's expensive. Some engineers, Meredith and Brian, also recommend installing this black pipe instead of CSST, but CSST makers argue black pipe has other problems, more joints that can leak, and because it's not flexible, it can also crack when a house foundation shifts or if a tornado or, or an earthquake strikes. I know what I'm doing this weekend. 